Welcome in beautiful people. It's your favorite YouTuber here, Tina Renee. On today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to add digital products to your Beacon store. Make sure you have these four items so that we can get started. Click the link below that's gonna take you directly to the Beacon's website to set up your account. Enter in all of your information and watch the magic of Beacon's AI. Next, you're gonna be asked to link your social media accounts. Not only will this allow Beacons to give you an accurate report of where your clientele is flowing in from, it will also allow you the opportunity to market effectively from one platform with the click of a button. After everything is compiled, you're gonna be asked, do you wanna keep this picture or change it? If you do, just click that little white picture button. If not, just keep moving forward and Beacons will do the rest. Now that our account is set up, it's time to start customizing. As you can see, you're gonna be provided with three different layouts that you can choose from. Select the one that you like so that we can start customizing it with our brand colors. You can go up to the top. If you click this button here, you can use AI to generate um, a more customizable option for you, or you can take these colors here and select something that is going to be closer to your brand. You can change the font, just make it look as aesthetically pleasing as you would like. And you can toggle back and forth to actually see what everything is going to look like if you select that color. Once you pick something that you like, let's keep moving forward. Next, you're gonna be asked if you're interested in brand deals. I would select yes, because Beacons currently has their own affiliate links that you can promote now and make additional income. They'll also help you with your media kit. Next, they wanna know what exactly are you selling? Is it digital products? Are you setting up appointments? Are you making courses? If so, your store is ready to go. Now beacons can be used for free, but I do recommend that you upgrade to a pro account and I'll tell you why. There are processing fees attached to every sale that you make. If you're a part of one of the paid programs, beacons will waive their portion of the fees, allowing more money in your pocket. By upgrading to store pro, you can take advantage of that benefit and many, many more for as little as $25 a month if you're paying annually, or you can do a month to month basis for $30 a month and cancel at any time. In my referral link below, you can get $20 off any account you decide to go with. Next, you'll be asked to select your custom domain. Beacon pays for your domain for the first year. You can choose from any of the suggested options, or you can go into the search bar and search up a name that you would like to use to see if it's available. I'm gonna skip for now since I'm just demonstrating, but you can see our account is set up. Now for the fun part. Once you're inside, you're gonna see your analytics screen. This is gonna show you where all of your traffic is coming from, what did they buy, what did they click on. You're just gonna be able to monitor everything within your store from this section right here. If you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see that green link there. That is now your official Beacons link. What that means is if you give that link to anyone and they sign up for a Beacons account under your information, Beacon pays you 25% simply for referring. Now let's add our products. When you click on digital products, it's going to bring you to the product builder. As you can see, it will walk you step by step and show you everything that you need to do to set up your product in your store. We want to start off by naming our product and then setting the price for it. What I'm showing you can be applied to any digital product that you're going to sell in your store. As far as pricing, with DBA, of course, there's a minimum that we cannot sell it for less than. But if you're uploading like a freebie, you have the option to set your price or to make it a free item or you can actually put it on sale. Now, because I know that DBA is originally $333, I'm gonna mark it at $333 and put it on sale for $111 because I know that is the minimum amount that I can sell it for. Next, you're gonna be asked to set up your Stripe or PayPal account. Remember, this is important because if you do not connect your accounts, you will not be able to sell or bring in funds on your site. Now we want to officially upload our product. Let's start by getting our logo. Go to where you've saved your actual information and bring in your logo. Hit the custom button so that it can make sure it captures everything. Delete the previous picture and then slide down. 
In this section here, we're going to give a description so that the people know what they're about to purchase from us. But don't worry, AI is going to help you out. Click inside of the box and remove all of those filler words. Click on the green generate with AI and type in what you want AI to create for you. So I pretty much told AI that I have a done for you digital product that comes with master reselling rights that people can actually learn and earn from over and over again. And this is what it generated for me. I'm going to use what AI came up with and I'm going to hit OK and it is going to put everything in the description for me. After that is done, I'm now going to upload my DBA product description picture. So click on that little image icon there and then you're going to go into your files where you have saved the DBA product icon. So after it pulls up, just hit customize so that it can make sure it captures everything. And then you're going to upload that to the description section as well. So as you can see, everything that DBA has already created for us, we're just plugging it into our system so that everybody can actually see what we have to offer. Now that our logo is there, our description is there, it's time to input our digital product. You're going to click on the upload products file and put in that PDF digital product. With DBA, that product can be found in our classroom. And for the sake of this video, I'm just uploading whatever I have on my laptop, okay? But you guys get the point. Once that is done, I'm just checking over everything to make sure I didn't miss a section. Now at the top up here, you want to make sure you're going over all of these because it's going to help you to stay on task. The checkout tab is going to show you what your customer is going to see when they go to checkout at your store. They're going to be asked to enter in their name and email address so that Beacons will know what to send their product to. And here Beacons will remind you again that if you have not set up a way to collect payment, you will not be able to operate your store. Your clients can come in and see what you have, but they can't check out. Next, we have our success screen. This is the screen that your clients will see if everything went well on their end. They're gonna receive a thank you message that you can actually go in and customize it to make it sound more like your voice. As you can see, I'm actually customizing it right now. See you guys at the top, Tina Renee. After you're done with that, you wanna slide over and then make sure that your email receipt is correct. Once Beacons confirms that the payment was a success, they will automatically send out the email receipt to your client. And this, my friends, is what we call working smarter and not harder. We have an automated system that's gonna do everything for us. You wanna scroll down to make sure that the actual digital product attached to the email as it was supposed to, as you can see, is right there. So the client, all they have to do is actually click on the link that's gonna be emailed to them and they can download their product directly to their computer, directly to their phone, is right there at the click of a button Next, you can let Beacons know if you want them to send out another automated email in seven days asking for the client to review your product. So if you decide you don't want to request a review, you can just click that button there and it'll turn it off. But if you do want your clients to leave you a review, you'll turn it on and then you'll go to this section here and you'll tell the computer system, you'll tell Beacons what day you want them to actually send out another email on your behalf. So I think you can actually get through our product in about three days if you fully commit to it. So I'll put three days, I want them to send out another email asking the client to review. Once it's done, you're gonna hit published and then our product is good to go. So of course, Beacons is gonna ask you, do you wanna promote your product? I just skipped all of that. When you go back to your homepage where your analytics was located, there you'll actually see all of your products. And as you can see, our product is listed in our store and it says digital download. And again, Beacons is gonna keep reminding you to set up your payment for your clients if you have not done so. I pray that this video has helped someone. Please share it out. If you are looking for digital products that you can customize to your liking and sell them for 100% profit, click the link in my bio, School of Royalty. Be blessed.